Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Every breath you take, every move you make, every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Every single day, every word you say, Every game you play, every night you stay, I'll be watching you. Or you're watching me, I'm not sure. Oh, can't you see? You belong to me. Every move you make, every step you take, every move you make. Every vow you break, don't break vows, baby. Every smile you fake, yeah. Every claim you stake, I'll be watching you. Do you guys see Boji down there? Oh, can't you see? You belong to me. I'm a poor heart aches. With every step you take, every move you make, every vow you break, every smile you fake, every claim you stake, I'll be watching you. Or are you guys watching me? I'm not sure how this goes. On okay. YouTube. On YouTube. You'll be watching me on YouTube. All right, everybody. Hey, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. That was a horrible rendition of, I think it's The Police, the number one song of 1983, because I asked Google. She told me. He told me. Google told me. I'm not sure which one it is. Anyway, all right, you guys. You have landed today on Holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. All right. My haul is so large, I'm not sure I can get it in one video, so we're just gonna grab bags, see how far we get. If you are new to this channel, you should know something. What should they know, Effingham? <laughs> that this channel is Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree, and why? Because everything in the Dollar Tree is a, a dollar and a, and a quarter. You are correct, and that is why I can only have one addiction. If I had another one, if I went to Hobby Lobby, or even, um, Michael's, uh, no, it, I would never be home. I'd be shopping all the time. So I have one addiction that's called the Dollar Tree. Marcus is back there doing stuff. I'm not sure. We're going on a road trip tomorrow, so I think he's taking care of our medication, which is completely legal and prescribed. All right, so let's dive into this. This channel is Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree. We've already said that. And you should know I do four uploads basically almost every week. Oh, kitchen window is in the drawer. Creepa. Creepa is in the drawer or the barn, as Bridget calls it. So, Ghost Hunter Granny, who sent me kitchen window, normally, oh my gosh, you are very boisterous and you should stop. Effingham, I think you have a run for your money. Very true. Effingham says that he says things that matter and kitchen window just barks a lot. All right, so we're going to put kitchen window back in the barn, and we're going to get right into this haul. All right, I'm so excited because I've actually hauled, <laughs> kitchen window is still moving from the drawer. I've hauled, I've hauled so much fall stuff, I don't think I can get it all in one video. So we're just going to start it and see where we get, and then maybe you get a surprise haul during the week. All right, 
Let's dive into what I have found at my local Dollar Tree or two or three, maybe. We're not sure. Okay, so this is what I've done. I have so much Halloween stuff and fall from last year that I'm literally only buying what's new. Well, that's a crud ton of stuff, actually. So let's get into what that is. I'm literally grabbing um, just randomly out of my laundry basket full of bags. All right, so the first one is, this is Halloween for sure, but I love these. Have you guys seen these? They're like, um, I wanna say they're like, I don't know what they are. Are they gurry? They're, purple, purple, they're purple flowers. They're daisies. They're purple and black daisies, and they come with like this. Picks. They are Halloween picks. They are Halloween picks. Wait, um, Christy from Crafty Country said somebody calls it following. That's very good. Because when you go into the Dollar Tree right now, it's Halloween, which is fall and Halloween. So I love these. I actually really love the color. And these are new to me this year. I don't think they were out last year. And I think they're amazing. And they're going to make an amazing add-on to a wreath or some decoration for Halloween. Okay. And then these balls. I got it in every video. So these are so cute, you guys. Look at them. So they're very sparkly. They're very Halloween colors. I'm really loving the purple for Halloween this year. And not the traditional black and orange, but this purple. And I love these picks. And they have, I think there's another one in a bag somewhere. But I love them. Again, like just put these two together. Purple is the new orange, Marcus just said. Okay, well, we'll go with that. All right. But now, in this bag, that was the only Halloween. Now we're going to fall. Oh, oh my gosh. Fall this year, they stepped their game up. So I'm just going to show you. Like, I literally bought one of every color of their clip-on pumpkins. So I think I should get them all together before I even show them to you. So I literally did buy one of every color that they had. That I found. I mean, maybe there's more colors. I, this is just what I found at my Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, people. Hold on, I got it. Like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one, one fell off, but that's okay. Eight colors of the clip-on pumpkins. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Okay, can we just talk about these for a minute? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through each one of them really quickly. So these are a, this one came off. That's fine. These are a velvety um, burnt orange pumpkin. They're amazing. I wish you guys could feel the texture on these. I love them. The one thing I absolutely love about this because it's a, I'm going to take one off. Because it's like a, it fell off the clip. That's okay. They do all the time. Because it's like a felt fabric that's on there. You literally get dimension in the in the pumpkin because the material has a natural color fade when it goes into the crevices. I hope that made sense. I'm not sure it did, but I think you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so that's new. Last year, I believe we got like orange and off-white. It just fell off the clip again. We got like orange, off-white, and like an ivory. Well, that would be the off-white. Orange. Maybe it was just orange and off-white. I'm not sure, you guys. That were this pumpkin, which is the styrofoam painted completely different than the felt-covered one. Do you see the difference? I love them all. Don't get me wrong. I'm super excited about using these. So this is definitely a repeat from last year, this off-white. But now we have the gray in the felt Love, love, love. I feel like gray is the new orange. Forget what Marcus said. Gray is the new orange. So I love these. So obviously they had like a felt run, which would be the, the burnt orange, the gray, and what color is this? Bah! I love the turquoise-ish blue color. And is that the only, that's the only, oh no, and then, and then this one. No, that's not felt. Never mind. Okay. Anyway, so these are the felt ones. Let's go back to this one, which is the painted. I'm missing a stem here, but that's okay. The painted like I um, styrofoam. So they have the ivory, sort of this peachy pumpkin color, 
And then that sort of a traditional orange. This is ombre and pumpkins right here. And then, and then this one, which I love. It lost one, but that's okay. This green. Are those not amazing? And then, and then they took their faux leather and made pumpkins. I think I have an orange in here for that as well. Right now, this is all that's in this bag. But look at that faux leather. I love this look. It's amazing. Take it to $1.25 and suddenly we're getting all this new stuff. All right. So I'm just grabbing out of the bags, you guys, so it's not categorized. So I believe I've hauled this already once. And here's the thing. When I go to the Dollar Tree and I haul something and then I go back and I buy it again, I'm like, yeah, I like that product. I absolutely love it. So these are these metal flowers. I feel like it's completely reminiscent of some of their garden stuff. Love this blue. But I'm going to show you guys something. So I found four colors. The blue, the, this is a pink, not that it shows right now. This is an off-white and this is a peach. But he, I want to show you guys this because you need to understand, don't ever take anything like just what it is. So I'm going to take this flower right here. By the way, they come with a little hook on them like you hang them on a wall like this. Forget that. We're not doing that. We're going to use them. I'm going to take one of the long signs and put these on there. But watch, I'm going to take this flower. I'm going to pull every other petal forward, which automatically changes it. But let's do even more. Let's just take a petal and give, these two are stuck. Okay, let's just take a petal and give it a little, a little pop in more. So now I'm gonna take every other one from, I did that wrong, but every other one from the middle one, pull it in, and then every other one on the outer rim and pull it in. And now you've got this, re okay, that doesn't look right, but you get what I'm saying. Like you get this really, doing this on camera, not really good, but you get you can make this really incredible three-dimensional looking flower. I love the colors. They're very muted and not super bright. Just look at the difference there, except for these two petals right there. But you get where I'm going with this. So I'm pretty sure I already hauled them, but I like them so much, I picked them up again. So that's fine, we're gonna do a craft with them. All right, next bag. Now, this one is, Totally away from all of that. This is a new wall tile. So it's the faux um, like glass tiles that you do on a backsplash. But I'm totally going to take this and use it as a background on a framed piece or something like that. And make it, um, put a galvanized word in front of this. How amazing would that look? And very boho, like super boho. So every time I see a new wall tile, I at least pick up one. Then, they're, the clothes of the Dollar Tree are like totally freaking me out because they're so amazing. This is a t-shirt. This is an extra large t-shirt, which of course I bought for Marcus for $1.25. You get new t-shirts. This is a beautiful blue. It is made by um, Fruit, of Loom. Fruit of Loom. Babe, I think your underwear is Fruit of Loom. You can wear underwear on the top and the bottom just like your wife <laughs> from now on because we have Fruit of Loom t-shirts. Anyway, such a great buy for $1.25. And then, and then, I found this, I don't know what this tag, how do you pronounce that? I don't know. It's like, a, all, oh, it's all, I think it's all style, all style. I don't know, whatever. So this is a 4X. Now, I don't wear a Forex. Marcus doesn't wear a Forex, but I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut the whole collar out of it. I'm going to cut down the sides. I'm going to knot down the whole side, and I'm going to do something to the sleeves and make this super adorable bathing suit cover up or just a lounger shirt. Super cute for a dollar twenty-five, and a pair of scissors, and you can make something amazing. Next bag, are we ready? Okay, I love this haul. Like this is like seriously so amazing. Okay, Vlasic Sweet Relish. True story, mm. we went to the grocery store. <laughs> He's like, mm, over there. We went to the grocery store and we do, um, we do hard boiled eggs and we pickle them and all that and then we make egg salad. So, which you need relish for egg salad, don't you? If you don't, you should. So Vlasic, we're at the grocery store and the Vlasic was like 250 a bottle. Oh, for tuna fish also, yes. 250 a bottle. 
It's a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. It's new there. I don't know why it's there. It's classic. Uh, Groucho Marx. The Vlasic guy is a Groucho Marx takeoff, right? For all of you that know that, please give me a thumbs up right now. But like, oh, how about a Vlasic? Isn't that what he does? I think that's what he says. How about a Vlasic? Anyway, which, what does that mean? I don't know. It's $1.25 there. It's half the price of what it is at the grocery store. So if you see it, pick it up. If you use pickle relish, we do. So there's that. Okay, then back to Halloween. I love these. I love these. Okay, so I think the first time I picked up their picks that had like a little wooden thing. These are bats, and these ones are little ghost heads. I think the first time I picked them up, they were, uh, what were they? I can't remember, but I made them a little bouquet. Oh, I maybe they were carrots, and I made them a little bouquet for a tear tray. Hi, Marcus. And um, so now it's like a thing. So every season... <coughs> they're putting out these they call them cupcake picks cupcake picks but we're using them for lots of things first of all i love the miniature of them and they're going to be amazing in just do a framed piece for halloween and put a little cluster of these at the bottom or in a wreath put them all over a wreath or put them in a cupcake there's an idea right i don't know possibly uh i i mean i just like them yeah, Effingham, you are my cupcake, but I'm not going to put the... Thank you. He says I'm his cupcake. But I'm not putting cow cake. Oh, you like that. All right. So, um, new also, which is... Okay, if you guys watch my channel... Hold on, I'm a little parched. Mm. If you watch my channel, when I was back in Iowa last month, I did a video with Scarlett, and Scarlett talked about deodorant, which was great for chafing... Women, you'll understand, in the thighs. And somebody sent me a message like, tell her not to use deodorant because it's full of whatever. Anyway, look at this. Power stick anti-chafe thigh relief. I'm sending this to Scarlett. Say, don't use deodorant anymore. Okay, so this is aloe vera, peppermint, and tea tree oil. So I haven't smelled it, but... Ooh, peppermint, strong. Very strong. Um, new product. Power stick. I'm iffy on the power stick. Like, I got the shampoo. Didn't, didn't really like it. But some of the other things that they've come out with have been okay. So, I'm hoping that this is going to be really good. Anyway, I'm going to send it off to her for her to try. Okay. My press-on nails, which I love to get from Dollar Tree. So, of course, I have some more. Do not love this little animal print. But what I do, you guys, there's only 12 in here. We have 10 nails but our nail beds aren't all the same size, right? So whenever I find a pattern, I'll buy like two boxes or I'll buy different patterns to mix, hence this little number. So I picked up the tiger, I guess tiger print or whatever it is, multicolored. But look, see how this blue and the black complement it? But wait, then you have the black and white. So now I can get probably two uses two different times that I can put press on nails on and this is 375 plus the dollar 25 for the press on tabs it's a lot less than I spend for a manicure I'm just saying so I buy them so that they complement each other so I can do things like this where I have multiple patterns on my hands okay next mm. sparkling ice so they had a black raspberry one which is by the way it's so good. It's really good. So then I found blue raspberry. And I was like, well, I have to try that. So I grabbed that one. I'll put it in Foodie Friday stuff and we will try that. And then I love these. So, but this is Vic, Victor Allen's coffee, which they sell at uh, Walmart, but they also sell at Dollar Tree. However, and I've tried them, I've done them on Foodie Friday, but this one is raspberry mocha. Well, that's different. So brand new, putting that in Foodie Fun Day, and we'll try that one as well. Okay, next bag. Where are we going now? Where are we going? Where are we going? All right, so books. You guys know I love books. All right, so I have a friend whose daughter is 16, and she loves to read. So now I'm on this kick where I'm going to buy books to give to her. So 
Let's just talk about them really quickly. This one is called The Degenerates, and it was $18.99. I got it for $1.25, and it's just a story that I thought that would be good for her age, and so I love hardback books. And if somebody loves to read, I want to give them hardback books. Like, I want to encourage that reading. So I picked this one up for her, and it's what every girl should know. I don't know. We'll see. And then this one is... Um, an African boy, an American lawyer, and their remarkable battle for freedom. So this was a lawyer. This is a true story. This was a lawyer who was going to do pro bono work, and he ended up going to Africa and helping this boy out. Great. It's, it sounds like a great story. This was $21.99. So interesting. It says religion, Christian life, Christian life, inspirational. So this was definitely a book that was probably in a religious store. Um, so I picked this up for her. And then also, Fly Like a Girl. This was normally $17.99, $1.25. Now, so I've spent $3.75. For $3.75, I'm going to encourage a 16-year-old to read. It's really, it's kind of a lost art at this point. And whether she reads them or she doesn't, I just want to encourage her to have a book collection. The same thing I do with Moses, my grandson, who loves to read. So I'm always sending him hardcover books. Okay, ready? Boo. Um, all right. This is a what? That's crazy looking. The books are crazy. The price is crazy for the books. This was five dollars. Dollar Tree Plus. But this is a Halloween wreath, and I love this. So it has it's I think I'm backwards. It it's very sparkly, like with the tree twigs and all that. And then there's these um bats in it. So I'm thinking, like, oh my gosh. I could take some of the pics and throw it in there. I'm just thinking like, I'm gonna make an amazing Halloween wreath and for $5, I've got my base and it's a good sturdy wreath. Like I literally looked at these in like three stores before I bought one and then I was like, no. I keep looking at it, I keep going back to it, I have to have it. So I'm kind of excited to make a wreath out of that one, which you'll see, of course. Next bag, I think we're back to pumpkins. We are back to pumpkins. So, oh my gosh, here's another pumpkin. Look at the pumpkins, you guys, this year, the pumpkins are, they're so amazing. Like, I don't even know. I don't even have to do anything to these. Like, they're they are beautiful as is. I'm in love. I'm going to have to do some random pumpkin something. I don't know. All right. Then they have the bigger pumpkins. This is all $1.25, right? So this is a burlap pumpkin. They had other ones. They have ones that are covered in glitter. They have ones that are colored in, covered in um, the, what are the sequence things where one weighs one color and one weighs, I didn't buy any of those. Like, I'm like, oh, I can't. But the burlap one, mm, now that's right up my alley. I absolutely love this pumpkin. I think it's amazing. And it's a fairly good size. Like, this is a good size pumpkin. So I only bought one. I should have bought more. Hmm. Well, I didn't. Okay, that's okay. Now, here's something that I bought that I have no idea why I bought them all. And I did. And I'm like, why? There's more in another bag. New this year is mushrooms. Wait, not the kind that you eat, just mushrooms. So I had to, I'm like, no, 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 Effingham, you don't like mushrooms. Let's go with that. Nope, you don't. All right, so. I think they had four colors of these. I'm not sure why I bought them. I got home, I was like, why did I buy the mushrooms? I don't even do crafts with mushrooms. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with them. Can you guys tell me? So in this hand, I have the blue and this one is the red, but they also have like a brown, it's gonna come out soon, a brown one and some other color. I don't even know, can we just talk about this for a minute? Somebody explain to me what we do with mushrooms in a craft, what? So I was thinking I could slice them in half, and then put them on a sign or something, but what? They're not even good. But I bought them. I don't know why. I really don't know why. All right, so the burlap one, burlap one, they also have the faux leather. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love this? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is really squishy and soft too. The faux leather in a pumpkin, yes! But I bought the mushrooms, why? We still don't know. That's okay. I'll figure out something. Maybe they'd make really good, no, not even good likes. Okay, 
Anyway, I love the faux leather pumpkins. They do have more than one color. It's in my basket somewhere. So love those. Love the burlap. Love the faux leather. And I love that they're not the same size because that means you can do like a nice little patch of pumpkins. They're never all the same size. So we want different sizes so we can do that. Okay. Then another another um, felt pumpkin. Do you not love this green? I love this green. It's that olive green. So the other, it's all piling in front of me right now. So remember I had the orange burnt orange felt pumpkin. Are those beautiful together? Yes. I, if, if I used everything I have for fall, my house would look, yeah, anyway, not going to happen. So there's that. Okay. Acorns. I do love these. I still don't understand why I bought the mushrooms, but I do like the acorns. These are so sweet and so perfect. If you did a a bow of fall stuff. This would be great in it. If you did a wreath, these would be great in it. Like these are super cute and adorable. Or I can't think of anything else right now. Maybe put them in the bottom of a fall vase, like a clear fall vase. This would be amazing. Anyway, love those. And those are, I believe are new this year. I don't think I've seen them again. Oh wait, faux leather pumpkins. Here's another one. I do love these. I think these are really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I think they're really cute. So here's the one thing that drives me crazy sometimes about Dollar Tree. So they brought out the faux leather, I mean the faux leather uh, leaves, but they're not the right size for these. So I can't match them together. They can't go together, which would be great if they could, but they don't. It's kind of like their fairy garden where everything is a different dimension. <laughs> like, like you can't. You can't put them all together. It would look weird because they're wrong sizes. So anyway, but I do love these. I love these. And I do love the faux leather leaves too. I've used them now in two projects. I love them. I think they're super cool. It's just a, it, they're a fun product. Sorry, guys. I'm so parked. And I'm, it's so late for me. I have to get up super early and get on the road. But I'm filming this all for you guys. All right. Brand new. Mm, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it, which I say all the time. But these are cool. So they're little ceramic bread makers. And I'm hoping that they are oven safe. Microwave safe, dishwasher safe, oven safe, which means you can actually bake in them. I don't know what happened to the words and all that. Anyway, all right, let's talk about it. There's four of them. I literally don't know what I'm going to do. I thought maybe a floral arrangement in them, but I bought them all to show you. I will try and bake in one and see if it works. Like, does it destroy the words outside? But let's just talk about what they say or what they have on them. So this one says gather. I love this graphic. I think it's super beautiful. These are, if they actually bake up and you don't lose the words on the sign, they're amazing to buy for baking something and giving to somebody for Thanksgiving. They're amazing. This one says fall is my favorite color. By the way, they're two-sided. So you get the graphic on both sides, not on the ends. All right. This one says grateful. This is my least favorite, by the way. I feel like you can't really read grateful. I feel like it, the, the font on that wasn't so good, but I'm showing you anyway. And this one says fresh picked apples. So you should bake apple bread in this one. Or, or bake a loaf of bread and give them apple butter. Mm. Anyway, super cute, brand new, and... I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but I am going to try and bake with one so I can tell you guys whether that actually works or not. Because I don't, I don't necessarily trust what they tell us every time, right? Okay. I'm almost done with this haul because we're running out of time. Okay. So these are a repeat, total repeat. And I saw somebody do a craft with them and they talked about the three-dimensional thing here. And I was like, I don't remember that from last year. Did they have an extra piece on these last year? Because I feel like last year, we just got the pumpkin with the saying on it. I feel like this is extra this year. The only reason I picked it up was because of the blue. I absolutely love the blue. Totally love the blue. And I probably would take the pumpkin off of this and put it on something else. Um, but I really love the blue. So, you know, I love to take what they give us and then enhance it and make it something better better. Yeah, better. So 
I only picked this one up, even though they have all the other designs that they put out every year. But I really feel like this extra little thing, which is 3D, by the way, it's like an extra thing on there. I don't think it was there last year. Am I crazy, you guys? Was it there? I don't think it was. I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna go with no. So I really am into the blues because then I picked up these two. Now these boxes, they had last year, but not these patterns. So look at this blue, Autumn is Calling. Like I'm in love with the buffalo check in the background and that blue on that pumpkin. And then there's this, look at how well these two go together. You know, I love to take, I call them box tops. I love to take them and make them a double-sided thing. So maybe, I'm not sure, but yeah, nice. I love that blue and I love the background on this one. Look at that blue and look at how well they've tied together their font with their colors. Super cute. Really good. I got to give them props. Okay. Now I'm not, I was like swore. I swore to myself. I wasn't going to buy any more signs. And then I walked in. I was like, yeah, but mm, maybe just a couple. So the only reason I bought any of the signs that I bought for fall was because of the coloring and the graphics. And I think the graphics have gone like skyrocket in beauty. So tell me if you disagree. So my least favorite of the one, three that I got is this one, but it's beautiful. So this one says family where life begins and love never ends. You guys, this is all really good, like really good. Now we can enhance this in so many ways cut some of their, their styrofoam pumpkins in half and three-dimensionalize this, add a really beautiful bow of florals on top. That's probably what I'll do. Um, I just think it's super pretty. And the family is one of the three-dimensional, it's like, um, it's not, I don't think it's, maybe it is wood. Maybe it might be pressed wood on there. So I love this. I think it's beautiful. And I love their color choices. Like this isn't cartoonish fall colors. This is that really farmhouse muted wine colors is what I would call them. Okay. But then that was my least favorite. So my two favorites, I don't know which one. I'm going to show you both of them. This fall blessings. Oh my gosh. Can we just talk about the graphics on this? So we're all racing to find the calendars, right? And the reason we're racing to find the calendars, sorry, is because the person that does the calendar that we're all after is an amazing artist. This is on that caliber. So we can go in and we can buy tchotchke signs at Dollar Tree every day of the week. But when you find them where the colors are great, the graphics are great, the, the font is great and it's perfect, this is beautiful. Look at the blues. I'm telling you, blues are my thing this year for fall. They might've been last year too, I'm not sure. Anyway. I love this. I think it's amazing. So for this one, I just, for some reason, I just see it framed. Like, don't do anything else. Just frame it and make it a beautiful hanging sign. But framed, it would give it some weight and depth. It would make it a much higher end project if it had a frame around it. Okay. But then I think this is one of my, I don't know which one's my favorite. Was that one or this one? So I love this one as well. So this one says, leaves are falling, autumn is calling. Oh my gosh, you guys, can you just look at the leaves in this? It's so pretty, the colors, the colors. The only thing they did wrong is, can we get away from the sparkle, glitter? Can we get away from the glitter? Can we just drop the glitter off of everything? I'd be so happy. So, and this one is glitter as well. But if you watch my videos, you know, that all you have to do is just sort of um, rub. You can take a, uh, what's the tool? It's like a little spatula. If you just go over that, don't use water, don't sand it, just take the spatula. You can actually scrape off most of the glitter. Um, so I don't know, which one's your favorite? I think this one is actually, I don't know. The only three, I think it's the only three signs I bought for fun. Maybe not, no, there's probably more. All right, I'm gonna stop this haul. I have a whole nother haul in there, but I will do that at a later date. Um, I'm away for the weekend, so I'm filming this so I can get it out to you guys. And um, normally I do a craft at the end of my haul, so maybe I still will hold.
Well, of course, I had to actually do the craft. All right, so first I take off the hanger, which is just the jute twine, and then I take these two snakes that I have. These are the most amazing thing, by the way, that they sell at the Dollar Tree, so pick them up when you see them. So I cut off the tail and the head and then realized that it's too long, so I have to cut off more. And all you have to do to the break these up is just like get a cut in the ribbon that ties it all together and then it just sort of twists off. All right, so I do one and then I take the second one and I measure it with the first one so I don't do three cuts on the second one, I just do two. Um, this is, you guys, these snakes, I just can't say enough. Maybe it's from Arizona. Anyway, so now I use some... Um, of the beads that came off the hangers of the project that I did on Tuesday and I add them to the hanger that was already existing and I put it back on because I'm going to glue this down which means I won't be able to get the hanger in afterwards right so I use wood glue hot glue on both sides and glue the snake parts down I'm not even worried about them being like perfectly straight because I feel like it's just adding to it just to have them be a little wonky and then I take my blue and my cream pick that have these amazing colors that follow, that match actually this sign. So I, I always just cut the stem or I score it with scissors and then twist back and forth and they break right off. I mean, if you don't know that, you should know that. And then after I get, I get three picks from each one, three from the cream and or three stems from the cream and three from the blue. And then I'm just going to balance it, right? So I'm going to have two white and one blue and two blue and one white on one side. But I ended up cutting the leaves off and gluing them down individually. But I had a berry and a pumpkin from each pick. And so I take the stem of the berry and berries and the pumpkin and I twirl them on a paint stick so that I have like a, a twirly on the end of it, which just adds another element to your little bunch of flowers there, your little arrangement, basically. So this is just by eyesight, like balancing it, your colors and your pumpkins and all that stuff, and making sure that the words still show, um, because that's obviously, the, the sign says fall blessings, you have to be able to read that. So there I'm twisting the end of those berries. The nice thing about that is you don't have to cut off the stem, you just make it part of your little arrangement. This came out so much better than I imagined. You guys have no idea. Like, I think this is a super beautiful piece. So again, I'm going to cut off the leaves here so that they're individual so I can glue them down. So this side was the heavier blue side. And then I twist the stems on the pumpkin and I twist the stems on the berries just so it gives you a little curly cue off of those. And you don't have to cut them off. And then I just glue my stems down, my leaves down, and add the pumpkin and the berries in. Oh my gosh, this came out so incredibly beautiful. I'm going to sell it, but I'm going to have a hard time because I really, really, really like this piece. And I literally created it in less than 10 minutes. Like I took it out to my garage, started going through my stash, and I was like, saw the snakes, and I was like, wait, those would be really cool. I love it. I hope you guys love it. Please let me know what you think. And then I did take this wonky ribbon, I don't know what you call it, and I cut a piece of jute twine, and I just tied it around the hanger, right, so it's at the very top of the of the piece. It was uneven, so I untied it and then tied it again, so I had those, the bows on either side were even, and then I added one more blue leaf in there just to top it off, tied it in, and then you know, I'm always going to knot my jute twine, so one side got three knots, the other side got two knots just to balance it, and then cut off the very ends of them. It looks, God, this looks so good. Very happy. I had to. Okay, so this is what I did. It looks so good, you guys. Okay, so let me just talk really quickly about what I did. The snakes that they sell in their crafting section, I cut off the heads and the tails and I put them on the top and the bottom and then added some florals in there that matched all the colors. By the way, I took the beads from the last project I did, which is my fall floral arrangement, where I used four signs that had the bead hangers. So I used those beads. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I mean, I'm impressed. And it was like, okay, so here's why it's good though. I have to tell you guys, which by the way, I was super quick in doing this. So, cause I'm, I've got to go to bed. But 
because I use the snakes. So it brings this whole other um, texture into it. It's not framed with wood, but it is. But, you know, anyway, mm, do you guys like this? I love this. Oh, my gosh. I really love this. I think I just really love the blues this year. All right. Not like the blues, like singing. But I do love the blues. But, like, I just think this came out amazing upscale of a Dollar Tree sign because the graphics were super good and I mean I did this really quickly so obviously you can arrange these so you're making sure you're not covering any of the font but you can still read fall blessings oh ah it's so cute all right guys thank you so much for watching um I hope you enjoyed this haul let me know what was your favorite thing that I hauled today and I'm trying to find Effingham's voice there it is oh there we go all right I love this sign that I whipped out for you like in 10 minutes. I'm not kidding you. I think it's adorable. I think it's really cool. I love, love, love this. I really like this. Sometimes the things that you on a whim design are the best ever. All right. So tell me what you loved about this haul and what you're going to be looking for at the Dollar Tree. And don't forget to give me a great big thumbs up. Oh, I hate to say that. It's what everybody says. How about give me just a thumbs up? All right. And consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber. All right, guys, I got to go. I'm off for the weekend because I'm always off for the weekend. Everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, I'll be watching you. All right, everybody, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Thanks for watching. I love you, besties. Everybody have a great day. Say goodbye, good besties. He's getting really good at that. See you later.